Hey everyone, it's Peter here from Cambridge Community Television. I've actually been flown to Las Vegas to try to take all of CCTV's money and double it at the craps table. I'm hilarious. I'm actually here to go to this year's NAB convention, and I'm really excited. So NAB is the National Alliance of Broadcasters, and every year they throw a huge event featuring the latest in broadcasting, from gear to concepts to the future. There are hundreds of vendors giving demos, leaders in the industry giving talks, and I don't know, hopefully free food. Why did I walk to the bathroom? I have no idea, but before I go down, I wanna figure out what my goals and questions are for being here. So let's start with number one. Where is camera technology headed? And more related to what we do at CCTV, how relevant will camcorders be in the future? Number two is what is virtual production and can we implement it at CCTV in the near future? So according to the internet, virtual production seamlessly combines physical and virtual elements using a suite of software tools. Studios can film on a stage and view virtual graphics together in real time. Big productions like the TV show The Mandalorian and the movie Lion King have used these techniques very successfully. And I've been reading how in the future it may help small and middle budget filmmakers produce really immersive environments. So I'm very interested in looking into that. And number three, which is a much more general question, what tech innovations are relative to our goals at CCTV? There's so much new stuff coming out right now, all kinds of things. So it'll be really interesting to see what of that is applicable to an organization like Cambridge Community Television. Okay, well, I guess it's time for me to hit the floor and I am nervous, but I'm always nervous. So this is just a normal day for me. All right, I'll see you down there. I think that having that sort of range of ability to, to produce things helps open that space up a little. that we built in Unreal. And so even though we had to pivot, we didn't have to rebuild all of our digital assets. So we used them through. All right, wow. Okay, it's been a lot so far. Uh, first of all, no free food yet. A little disappointing. I'm gonna keep looking. But uh, beyond that, another weird observation. There are all these actors that are just like kind of at the demos and they're like playing guitar, they're like sitting there reading, they're just doing all these scenes and it's kind of funny. Beyond that, they also have this free Tesla service that gets you around the convention center, which is kind of weird, so I'm definitely gonna try that. I uh, went and I saw Nick Cannon talk, he was in a conversation about his life. I'm not exactly sure how that relates to this convention, but it was a good time. I also saw a few virtual production demos, which are really cool. It's pretty amazing, they can just drop in these like virtual environments and the way that the camera moves, like the environment will move with it. So you can use either like a green screen surrounding or you can use these LED monitors that they're using that they, they just put the uh, location in the background right in the monitors and it looks great. It's really exciting. But yeah, it seems like that technology is gonna be pretty usable for CCTV's purposes in the near future. So that's really exciting. Anyways, I'm going to go back in. Uh, yeah, see you there. There's a lot going on. I'm having trouble deciding what to do, but they have three different parts. They have the create part, they have the innovate part, and the capitalize part. I think I got those right. Yeah, we're in the capitalize part. I have no idea what any of this is, to be honest. There's a lot of men with uh, suit jackets. Feels like we're in the right place. Okay, so holy sh**. So I just finished the last day for me at NAB. Wow, uh, it was a lot. Um, learned a lot, met a lot of people. It was really cool, really motivated, and I'm really overwhelmed. So <laughs> anyways, um, I'm just going to wait for my plane and take some deep breaths. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right. Hey! 
Ha, <laughs> just landed. I am back at Cambridge Community Television, and I wanted to explore some final thoughts. Okay, so regarding new camera technology, it seems we're actually doing pretty well. There were a lot of new items, but they seem to be a little superfluous for our needs. Stuff like 12K, the color stuff, you know, a lot of this stuff feels very nitty gritty and maybe less important for the kind of work that we do. So. Right now, I think we're doing pretty well on cameras. See, with that in mind, camcorders are holding up pretty well. I talked to a bunch of vendors and asked them about what the relevance of modern camcorders are, and they, they seem to be quite relevant. You know, a lot of the new, exciting, hot cameras, though they look great, their ability to uh, work in so many different environments uh, is minimized as they're more centered on photography features. So the camcorder is here to stay and it's really important in news gathering, uh, event coverage, and other kinds of scenarios. So number two, virtual production, really cool. I mean, so you can replace the background using either LED screens or uh, green screens in camera. So you would be able to see what you're filming and the background will move as your camera moves pretty accurately. So I think we're getting very close is what I understand. Looks like in the next few years, it will be in a price point where CCTV may be able to provide that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do my best to, uh, to sort of advocate for that and see what great technology is available in that. So yeah, as far as new tech, I'm really excited about this Atomos Cloud Studio. So what it is, is it's the software that's in the cloud that you could connect any Wi-Fi enabled device and then switch between them. So what that means is we could have my smartphone, we could use several of our iPads, put them everywhere, wherever we want, and just make sure as long as they have internet, they'll shoot that video connection up into the sky, and then you can switch between those cameras. So you can have a really cool several camera shoot that, that with no wires. We could rig up several tablets and Wi-Fi enabled devices throughout CCTV, and they could be switched to just all over the cloud, which is really exciting. That's a huge deal. So I'm really gonna try to do some research about that, see if we can implement that sooner than later, because it is really cool. We can do so many awesome things with that. Anyways, I'm gonna continue resting. I'm still jet lagged, uh, but this has been so fun. Thank you for watching this vlog, and I will hopefully come back and do another one of these videos. You know, it's kind of fun, self-indulgent. Maybe you learned something. Maybe this is just for me. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Clearly I'm losing it, but I'm gonna sleep. So, see you next time.